Who's your commander? Good luck. Equip. Move to combat. Resolves. Right now, before you attack, does anyone have an answer? Well played. Good game. Hello everyone, my name is DJ, this is the Jumbo Commander YouTube channel, and I want to talk about Jumpstart. Uh, I've been looking at some sealed product and some sets recently, and tried to evaluate what are the chase cards in there, how could they support your commander deck, is it worth it to go deep on one of these boxes? And so I want to take a look at that right now. Uh, starting off, I paid $122 for this box. I really wish it was like 99 or else I would, I'd buy a lot of them. Um, one of the great things right now about opening up these boxes is that I don't feel like I'm spewing value because this video is sponsored by Dragon Shield Sleeves. This right here is a Dragon Shield Magic Carpet and inside I have reusable card holders that I can put all of these Jumpstart packs into. So if I happen to open a $100 card, I'll, I'll sell that uh, and get rid of that pack. But if it's just fun limited environment, I'll throw it in one of these resealable things and then suddenly I still have my fun box to play with when I can, you know, actually see my friends, but I can also sort of sell off those cards that are relevant right now uh, that'll recoup some of the money spent on this box right now. So let's see what's in this set and let's see if I can recoup my value. All right, everyone, these are the most chase cards in the Jumpstart set. And I think if I open any one of these $30 plus cards, just that pack's gonna be out of the running and we're gonna sell them to recoup some of our cost, especially this Allosaurus Shepherd. Coming in at $97, this is just itching to be sold or uh, for me to make an elf deck. <laughs> Crater Hoof's a solid card. Uh, Bruvac, again, it stinks that the mill strategy, this mill commander is almost $40. Uh, unicorns are awesome. Tiny Bones, if you want a discard deck. Uh, some reprints with Exquisite Blood, Oracle Moldiah, still above $30. Ristic Study, just chasing that $30 mark. And then I personally want a Muxus for the Jund uh, Goblin deck that I'm building. So I'm excited about Muxus. Uh, and then I think I can keep everything else in those packs, but some things to look out for, new card, branching evolution. Uh, and then one notable thing is that we got this swamp down here. Yes, these lands are can come out of the Jumpstart pack. You don't need them. And they can be a ton of value. A $12 swamp? Yeah, that's crazy. $12 Swamp is insane. An Uncommon coming in near at $11. Uh, Witch of the Moors is awesome. Uh, let's go down to some of these other lands because I think that that's a way that we can actually regain some value too. Uh, we can see Good Boy Plains at $350. Uh, we can see uh, some islands at $325. Some more plains at $3. So really a lot of value can come out of this set without really impacting uh, the play experience for Jumpstart. And so that's what I'm gonna try to get through today. But first, before I start cracking some packs, let's talk about how good this set is for Commander and if you can get Commander value out of these cards. All right, let's take a look at this entire set and see what we're hoping to open and maybe open your eyes to some Commander cards that you can get in this set. First off, all of the cards that were made for this set are extremely good and they have Homes in decks. Emil the Blessed is for plus one, plus one counter decks, for blink decks, for unicorn decks, amazing. We've got Flying Matters with Steam Plume Marshall. Also, Inez here is for the Flying Matters deck, just a really fun card. Of course, your captain goes in every pirate deck for that anthem. Bruvac is a brand new mill commander, goes in any mill deck, is so good. A Scholar of the Lost Trove, this is super cheap. It was the um, promo card for the set at 31 cents, and it can just give you value and go in those Sphinx decks. Kells is an interesting card advantage engine in Demir, which is really interesting. Uh, Tiny Bones is a mythic, quite expensive at closing in at $30. But if you have a discard deck, you kind of want Tiny Bones to be in there. Witch of the Moors, again, a little bit expensive, but it's like a mini Shieldred in the life gain decks. Uh, I love it so much. 
And then we have red, lots of different things for those red decks. Of course, Muxus goes in all of these goblin decks. It can let you cheat a ton of goblins onto the battlefield. Uh, you've seen it do crazy things in other formats. Uh, Sethin Herloon General uh, is for the Minotaur decks, and Minotaur decks will love it. Spiteful Prankster, I'm looking for this card too. It goes in Aristocrats decks. And Xerzoth Chaos Rider, it's a devil for those... Um, Rakdos the Showstopper decks, it punishes extra card draw, it's very, very good. So you can see we've got like Goblins, Devils, Minotaurs, uh, we've got Life Gain, Discard, um, Mill, Flyers, Pirates, uh, Dogs, so there's just like, it's hitting on all of these different points. Uh, elves with Allosaurus Shepherd. Branching Evolution for those plus one, plus one counter strategies. Towering Titan for those defender strategies. Uh, Nelith of the Dire Hunt. Some people like those, those fight decks uh, or those big creature decks and Nelith fits in really well. I wish that these bluffs uh, were just everywhere and they were cheap, but the fact that they're 50 cents and a little bit hard to get a hold of, I wish that they were super budget, like 10 cents and everywhere. And then of course, these lands are amazing. Keep an eye out for them because if we get enough of them, especially look at this swamp right here. Ooh, Phyrexian Swamp. We're gonna definitely want to either uh, sell those away or put them in our decks. And this Terramorphic Expanse, by the way, $2.50 or two twenty-eight, whereas it's normally like 11 cents. So there's definitely some value gained because there aren't a lot of cards uh, stock of this out there. So now we have the reprints down here, and there are very, very good reprints. But one thing to point out is that there's not a lot of stock. And so normally, if something would get reprinted in the set, like this Catharsis Crusade, which is a great card, I would say, great, it's reprinted into Oblivion, it's driving the price down, and we can see the price is a little lower, 355, but we're not gonna see big price drops compared to some of these other sets because there's just not enough of it to move the needle. But there's a little bit of it, and that's gonna lower the price. And if you happen to, you know, have one of these boxes, then this is still value you can get in the set. Um, let's So let's talk about the reprints in the set and find out which ones you could open, which ones could be good for your deck. Uh, maybe if there's more supply of this, it's opened a lot more, you will see these prices move. Uh, Duelist Heritage, I love. Uh, the price has jumped up to about two, three dollars. Glad that it's down below two dollars here. It's fun to double strike your own creature, aim it at your opponent's creatures, as long as they're going somewhere else. Uh, Linvala's an excellent hate bear. Uh, next, we have some card draw, Mentor of the Meek. Some of the only card draw we get in white, so let's embrace it. Uh, Micaeus, I love this one drop. You can get it with Ranger of Eos, uh, Knight Captain of Eos. It's a zero zero, so you can search it up with your Recruiter of the Guards, uh, things like that. Path to Exile in the Uncommon slot. Love to see this price go down. It's only a couple dollars, and it's really, really solid removal. Uh, in blue, obviously Ristic Study if you want to be able to uh, ask everyone if they want to pay one. I like Sharding Sphinx, but never really that expensive. Uh, blue didn't really have a lot of stuff. I do want to give a shout out for a budget card, Whelming Wave. People look at uh, Krakens, Leviathans, Octopuses, and Serpents and think, well, I don't have any of those in my deck. I'm not going to use this card, but you should. It's actually a pretty solid uh, board wipe. And all you need is like a couple of these to make this a little bit better than evacuation because the mana is so cheap, you can cast this and then redeploy something else. Um, it's not a board wipe though, so that's a little sad. Uh, Black Market is a really good uh, shout out. Glad this is sitting at around $4. We saw it in the Mystery Booster, but similar to Mystery Booster, like Mystery Booster, there was so many different cards in the set um, that it didn't move the needle on prices, and same thing with Jumpstart. It just didn't get out there, so it didn't move the prices. Uh, but at one point in time, this was above $10, so I'm really glad to see this even lower. Look, you could get this for $350, and it goes amazing in tons of different types of decks. Uh, we also have some really solid reanimator stuff going on. Exhume over here is fun. Uh, I like Ghoul Caller Gisa, but I want to give a shout out down here to uh, Reanimate. Rise of the Dark Realms and Shieldred. Just big smashing creatures and great things to pull in your deck. Um, let's look at this uncommon Phyrexian Reclamation. It's going to be, you know, sitting right around $3. And so this is a good uncommon to open up as well. I mean, a lot of $3 uncommons here. 
And then I, I gotta give a shout out to Gonti. This is only like a 30 cent card, but Gonti's amazing. 25 cents, see? Just great to have more Gontis in the world, uh, even though it's not a really impressive card to open. Okay, red's a little bit weak because it's aggro, uh, and they also have like a goblin strategy in here. So if you like goblins, that's great. Uh, if you like aggro, that's great, but aggro's not the best in our format. Uh, so nice to see Chain Lightning sitting around a dollar in our uncommon slot. Atali's being reprinted like crazy. We have it in resale promos in Commander 2020, uh, but this is just a fun card to play with. So I'm glad that it's out there and more people can play with it. Uh, Goblin Chieftain, if you're running a Goblin deck, this had a dual deck treatment right here, Merfolks and Goblins, but still um, sitting around 250. Glad that's out there. Uh, going down, we also have Cranko. This is also a couple bucks and also got a reprint in a dual deck and Mystery Booster. So glad to see that we keep reprinting these and the Goblin cards become a little bit more accessible. Lathless, again, it's a really fun Dragon card. And this is under $2 in the Jumpstart set too. So very nice. Uh, that's about it for red. I also like to give a shout out to Sin Prodder, one of my favorite budget cards. I really want this to be a quarter so that you guys can all play it and see how amazing it can be because no one wants to take that extra damage. All right, moving into green, we have some of our heavy hitters when it comes to cards we want to open. Some of the most expensive reprints out there. Let's take a look at Craterhoof Behemoth coming in at $40. We've seen it in games. We've died to it before. It's very powerful and it's a solid reprint in this set. Uh, next we have uh, Oracle of Moldiah at rare. Uh, this is $30 and it's exactly what we want to do in Commander. We want to ramp and draw cards. It's just perfect. Uh, and then looking in green, we've got a lot of other really good stuff we want to shout out. Uh, for elves, we have Elvish Archdruid and some other elf synergies. I love Champion of Lamholt and those plus one plus one counter decks. Um, making your team really hard to block, getting damage through is just great. Uh, Galta dealing tons of big damage. I'm glad to see this coming down around $3. It was up a little bit higher, but again, it's been printed like crazy. So I'm glad to see lots of copies of Galta out there. Uh, next, Lurking Predators is a really, really fun enchantment. Of course, you can you can make sure that your deck is chuck full of things so that Lurking Predators can always trigger. Sitting in under $4, just a fun deck to play. Uh, Primeval Bounty is just value. Uh, this used to be a little bit more expensive, hasn't been printed in a while. Uh, this is sitting under $4. Uh, Rishkar is not expensive, but I like it a lot. Under a dollar, very nice. Silvala is a deck unto herself. She's very good. She's been reprinted a couple times. Mystery Booster, Jumpstart, and sitting at $14. That had the potential to just be very expensive, so I'm glad that they reprinted it. And then one of my favorite cards from this set is Uvenvald Hydra. This gets any land, and being able to search for whatever land you want is so good because the lands that we can include in our commander decks are so powerful, and our decks need consistency. So I'm really glad that Uvenvald Hydra got a reprint, even though it's at Mythic right here. And that's it for green. Multicolored, I'm not that excited about. Maelstrom Archangel is really fun, uh, but it, it's prone to death and it's not legendary, so sorry. Uh, there's one artifact that I like to point out, which is Herald's Horn for all of those uh, creatures. Um, for all of those tribal decks out there, it was getting expensive. It was over $10 and now it's under $10 and from Jumpstart and seeing it at Uncommon is, is really solid. Uh, then we've got one land that I want to give a shout out to, and that's Phyrexian Tower. Again, pretty expensive at $13, but at one point in time, this was very expensive. Uh, this can go in almost any black deck, give you a little bit of extra ramp, uh, be able to sacrifice those relevant creatures that you need to get all of that value. Oh, Riptide Laboratory. This is a great card, and I'm glad it got a reprint. Returning wizards to your hand are great because there's so many different wizards. Uh, put this in a Nala Dex, uh, rebuy your Snapcaster mages, uh, things like that. All right, so there's clearly a lot of amazing commander cards in here, and the new cards from this set are incredibly fun, and they go in so many different decks, and so there's definitely cards that I want to open. So let's take a look at this box and find out if there is something exciting inside.
All right, last time I did this was with Modern Horizons. And so if you want like this kind of video, then I'll go ahead and show you another type. And if you like it, let me know in the comments down below, like it, share it so that I can know to do more of them. All right, so they give us these cool instructions, mix and match for maximum mayhem. And they just tell you, hey, like just pick two and put them together and battle with your friends. So I'm pretty excited about that. All right, pack number one. What are we hoping for? Well, honestly, I'm hoping for the commander cards I need, some of the unique cards from this set. Do you know one thing I didn't expect though, like a shrink wrap inside of there? I wonder if there are lists for each of these, so I even know if I need to open it up, but. Woohoo, starting off strong with a mythic, already a $15 card. Let's see what some of the uncommons are. Awesome. So what I'm gonna do is grab a green one of these because people could naturally see that there were dinosaurs. And then I'm gonna put Silvala and all of these cards back in. And then now I've slid them into here. And now I have a dinosaur pack ready to go. Well, that just makes sense. Basri, Basri just gives me a Basri. I didn't know that. Oh, love this card. Very cheap, but uh, glad that it's here. And Siege Striker and Faith's Fetters. By the way, for a Mythic, Basri is under $2. So definitely just going to go back into this set uh, so that we can play with him. He's going to be really fun to open up. Woo, nice. Rise of the Dark Realms is a really fun card. This is a $13 Mythic. Uh, just really solid to see it in there. And then let's find out if we've got... Oh, yeah. I think that, I, that they're all matching. I really do like this swamp a lot. Look at that good boy. But more importantly, oh, look at that. Bam, yes, nice. I really wanted this unicorn. I have plus one, plus one counter decks and I also, ooh, I like the ones where you have a double right there. Uh, this one is a new card full of unicorns. I didn't mention it before, but it says uh, an enchantment, prevent all non-combat damage that would be dealt to you and creatures you control. Uh, whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield in your control, create a 2-2 white unicorn creature token. So I like the non-combat damage is interrupted. So if you have something like uh, board wipes or anything like that, you can protect your creatures. Uh, but ultimately that's not gonna matter very much for you. But if you can generate, you know, three or four tokens off of, you definitely need like four tokens off of Blessed Sanctuary, then this is doing some, some good. Um, one thing that stinks though is that you want this in a creature deck, uh, but it's not a creature itself. And a lot of times you have things that are a little bit more uh, supportive and synergistic. Like think about the Great Henge, you know, uh, you'd rather have that in this uh, plus and plus encounter draw deck. But this Emil is like super, super good. All right. You're gonna notice things go, when you're gonna go a little bit faster because there were, all of these had two coverings. There's like, this cellophane and also the normal jumpstart. And it was like impossible to get into. So I turned off the camera and I cracked some in order. So hopefully we got some good stuff going on. Okay, ready, set, go. Boom, Uvenvald Hydra. The amount of mythics that I've got in this box is crazy. Uh, and by the way, throwing in a cultivate right there too. Awesome. Uvenwald Hydra, I've talked about how much I enjoy having that card around. All right. Next up, we've got Attacking Pirate. 
good little guy, uh, definitely uh, giving your pirates a little anthem. But also, this is still a, like, it gives you a refund with the treasure. So a two mana, two, two flyer is quite good um, in this kind of deck. Favorite of mine, Sharding Sphinx. Uh, definitely a solid guy. Got some devils. Awesome, Zerzoth. Just a couple bucks for Zerzoth, uh, but I was excited to open up Devil Back because they almost always have Spiteful Prankster in it. This is the card uh, that I'm actually really excited about. Zerzoth is fine. I enjoy Zerzoth, so uh, I think that this one will not end up in my little collection. I'm gonna set this one aside <laughs> for later. All right, Exquisite Blood. That is. Oh my gosh, a $32 card. Uh, and comes with like a dollar card right there. Jeez, this one, this is an amazing double rare pack right there. Garrick. <laughs> There's gonna be a Garrick in there, isn't it? Yes, Garrick Unleashed. This is gonna be a fun card. I don't think Garrick's worth very much. Uh, Garrick, just like uh, the other Planeswalker, is like super, super low. There's something wrong with this Garrick. Look at that. This is, oh my gosh. Look at that. By the way, this is an awesome pack to open up to get Garrick's Harbinger and Garrick himself. But look at that um, damage. This is a really weird printing error on the whole pack. Look at that. The black ran out or something? I don't know. That's... All right. Tell me in the comments down below if uh, this is a disappointment or this is exciting to have uh, these this crazy um, misprint action on this Garrick. Very interesting. All right. Oh, boom. Branching Evolution. Just amazing card to see. I think that this is so much fun. And Champion of Lamholt. I mentioned that one before. Uh, very, very good. I love these double rares. It's really exciting to see like, oh, hey, here's the enabler. And then here's the, the sort of payoff, um, which is really fun. Elves. All right. Can it be the boom? <laughs> yes, Allosaur Shepherd. This guy is a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars for this silly little card. Oh, so happy to open that up. Very nice. So that's that basically means that the cost of this box is now recouped. I mean, it sucks to have one mythic um be the the deciding factor of this deck, but this but this thing had a ton of mythics in it. So Elves, good to see. Witchcraft. Bogbrew Rich. Oh, nice! The Witch of the Moors! All right, very cool. Search your library for Festering Newt or Bubbling Cauldron. I remember that from Limited. Let's see if there's Newts in... Okay, there's a Cauldron. And... Yeah, there's two Newts. That seems fun. That seems very fun. Uh, but, uh, hey. Look at that. Just awesome card for my life gain decks. Very fun. Smashing. Double rare pack, but definitely not very exciting. I cannot tell you how difficult these have been to open up. Just for some reason, these seem to be a lot tougher. And then there's this plastic on the inside. And then there is a little. Oh, <laughs> oh what on earth is this pa this thing been? Oh my gosh, and an Elvish Archdruid. 
just a crazy box. I mean, just... That's it. Just two pa That was the price of the box. Unreal. Unreal. Hey everyone, let's break down the value in this box. And it's actually a lot. It's, it's actually like a strange amount. So I wanted to talk about it. Uh, there are 20 packs in a box of Jumpstart and there are 20 cards in each pack. Of course, there are some packs that are full of uh, two rares or a mythic and a rare. And so that might change up the math or whatever. But also of these 20 packs, I opened up eight mythics which seems very strange because that's way more mythics uh, than you'd normally get in a box. But I don't know what the um, the correlation or the, the collation uh, in this uh, box is. Uh, and the value of this box was crazy. If you look at some of the top cards, I got the top two cards, Allosaurus Shepherd and Craterhoof Behemoth, already recouping my cost of the box, which you know, was really great. But then you keep going and I got another mythic, the fourth most valuable mythic at $33. Uh, even though you go down a little bit, I still got other mythics too, like Silvala, Heart of the Wilds, this Rise of the Dark Realms, both of those over $10. Uh, I got a uh, Witch of the Moors sitting around eight. And by the way, this Vidalcan Archmage, I thought this was just a random card. I'm like, oh cool, Sharding Sphinx, I love that. Glade just didn't focus on on the Vidalcan Archmage right underneath it. And it's $5. So that's a solid thing that I wasn't even paying attention to in that in that one as well. I didn't realize the Corsair Captain was $5. Again, I thought it was a cool pirate card that, but I didn't realize the demand for it. Uh, if you keep going, like the Uvenvault Hydras, $4. Riptide is $4. I mean, if you look at the 20 uh, packs that I opened, almost most of them generated me value. I want to warn you that this is probably not a typical box opening, so don't feel like Jumpstart is going to be filled with all of this value. I'm, I'm very, very happy with this box, and there's some stuff in there that I've literally never seen before, like that uh, Garrick <laughs> misprinting and uh, some of the most expensive cards in the set. Just really um, weird. Just really weird. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me for this. Thank you to Dragon Shield for sponsoring me. This is their magic carpet. And inside I have wow, my, my little jumpstart cube. People can come over and suddenly play a blue red, just a blue red deck. Mix these together, separate them back out again. And then I got myself just something really fun to play with. So I'm super excited to open up this box and make something interesting for when my friends come over. Uh, thank you, Cool Stuff Think. They're the sponsor of the Jumbo Commander YouTube channel. Thank you to my patrons. And then let me know if you like this kind of video, uh, let me know in the comments down below, share this video, subscribe to my channel, give a thumbs up, all of those YouTube metrics things, uh, and I'll buy more boxes and make more. Actually, I already, I already have bought more because People said they liked this style of video, so stay tuned. All right, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>